Hey, we are live and it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis and welcome, hello. Today we are still gonna be painting the um, dragon from Kingdom Death. I'm so excited because he's getting closer and closer to being done. And I made some discoveries that I wanna show everybody. So hello and welcome everybody. So I'm gonna be painting, I wanna show you, let's look at him in an overhead chat so you can see. Look at how cool he's starting to look. I got some really nice contrast by adding some blue in here. And I've got his spine that's starting to glow up. That's awesome. But yeah, we're gonna just start painting him. Feel free to say hello in chat if you're watching and ask questions or anything you wanna do. So let's see, I have his whole tail to finish. We've got a good, good amount of his back already done. We're gonna add some more contrast to his neck. And I think I'm gonna do that with a little moon ray flesh. Where's my moon ray flesh? Is that it? Nope, that's high key yellow. Okay, right here. Moon ray. Moon ray flesh. And I'm also gonna have some. Well, we'll just put we'll just paint this and see what happens. Cause I still am not exactly sure where things are gonna be as far as highlights go. I'm gonna try to get some of these things in here. There we go. Hopefully the stream is working right now. I can't quite tell because it looks like it is. We just have a, just a few view, few viewers. So thank you guys who are tuning in. Appreciate it. So what has been everybody been doing this past week? We are going to be going to go see the Phoenix movie. And... What else are we doing? Mike is working on getting his check ride thing, which is a big deal because he's need to, been needing to get his pilot's license for a long time. And let's see, here's graphite. I need this to blend into my highlight. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. There we go. And I'll, yeah, that seems to look good. Get some of those little creases. Aw, oh, Key Lime, thank you so much. Mad love, Key Lime Prime visitors. I really appreciate that. Kind of came online today and not really anybody was chatting yet. So I really appreciate that. Mad love, look at, we're painting the dragon from Kingdom Death and he's looking awesome. We're showing how to do some gray skin tones, how to do some, some crazy OSL. Let's give some hype. To, uh, all my all my mods are gone right now, Key Lime. So I'm gonna hype you myself here. How is you, how is your stream? How is your life? There we go. H. Let's see. Hi Pete. There we go. Something I'm not seeing chat. Hold on. Let me let me do a thing here. Let me do a refresh. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for for hosting. That's awesome. And then let's see, uh, we're also gonna do a shout out. Let's see, shout out. Key Lime. There we go. That hopefully will work. Well, for some other reason, I, so like I said, all my mods are gone. And so for some reason, my bot has not allowed me to do my own thing. So anyway. Hopefully that's working. I'm only seeing, it's weird. My Twitch is acting all funny today. It's gonna be one of those days, huh? So I'm adding my underpainting. I'm underpainting on my highlights. And we'll just go ahead and blend that in with the gray, just wet blend it in. I've got the gray right here. There we go. So, how is everyone doing? All right, that looks good. Now, I need to do some of the sandstone. That's got a little bit of flesh tone in it. So that's going to give it a more of an alive feeling, I hope. There we go. 
I made a mistake today in not, not doing some kind, ooh, look at that, that looks pretty, I like that. I made a mistake in not doing some kind of like, oops. Oh, you can see me, but no, my chat's not working either, Sarah. I just got a message from Sarah. Chat is not working, and I don't know why. OBS, maybe I could, aw, Jan, thanks so much for the host. Chat's not working for me. Is, can you guys go, somebody um, message me, tell me if chat is working in other people's streams. If it's just mine, I'll try to restart OBS and the stream and everything. If it's other people's, I don't know what to do. Oh, internet is poop. Wait, so let's see what Key Lime says. Chat wasn't working for him either. Oh, it's Twitch. Let me do this again. Twitch. <laughs> All right, so that's a poo. We might have to do some kind of just ambient stream today. If you don't mind, um, I'll, keep, I'll keep just talking to myself. Unfortunately, I um, wish that I could... Wish that I could see your lovely faces, and, and uh, but I see that you're watching, so that's awesome. At least I know someone's there. <laughs> All right, let's go back to painting. Maybe Twitch will sort itself out, we can hope. Um, like I said, Key Lime said chat wasn't working for him either. Twitch has been really buggy for, for the past week. Like, I think I had issues connecting earlier, to, earlier this week. It was really a pain. So oh, here's what you came for. This was the painting. That's what you want. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this despite Twitch, Twitch glitch, Twitch glitches. Okay, let me take my glasses off. So we can really get into some serious painting now since I actually don't have to watch chat. It's kind of, by the way, you're welcome to message me on Facebook. I'll tell you what I'll do, I will, Keep Facebook open, and if you notice something else, um, if you notice something else, I, I can check Facebook, but that's probably the closest we'll get to having, having Twitch chat today. Unfortunately, that's a bummer. I'm just making his little, little shark, shark, uh, shark NATO, sh shark bite things here. His little, there we go. Meridian line. That's called a meridian line on a shark. There we go. A little gray. A little gray over here. A little, uh, what is this? The sandstone is the pink color. And where's my paper towel? This is kind of, this is kind of like when I first started, um, what, first started painting on Facebook. I didn't know if people were watching me sometimes. And I would just sit and I'd just paint. And it was nice. So I'm gonna just talk to myself and you guys get a, get a watch, okay? If you have, like, so, yeah, if you have a question specific, then you can ask me on Facebook. Um, let me get my Facebook page open so that way it's easier to message me there as well. Okay. Nobody's messaged me on Facebook, so that's it. that makes it easy. All right. So I was talking to Erin Lovejoy, who has become one of my painting coaches, um, who is, he's just a great guy, and he's also just a great painter as well. And he is, um, there we go, there's a message. Everybody's chat's down is what Nixon, Nixon Minnie says. Man, that's bites. Well... I'm going to keep streaming because, you know, that means, that means more, more painting gets done, right? We'll just, we'll just jabber and paint. It'll be, it'll be one of those days. <laughs> I will not, I will say that I don't know if I can sit and talk to myself for three days straight. Or three hours straight, sorry, three hours. Three days, that would be even worse. Um, there we go. So we're getting that. I really want to do that on the other side of his face too. It's just hard to get in there and reach some of the areas. So let me add a little bit of this color. I gotta look at this again. It's underneath the, the line. Okay. We're just gonna try to get his little shark line. 
in here. There we go. And it's okay if it's a little darker because it's in the shadows. And it's also okay if it's a little mushed up because his neck is kind of turned. And he's got some wrinkles in his neck. There we go. So there, that's, yes. I'm so happy that's working. Okay. There we go. All right, Ooh, more gray. That needs to be a little bit darker. That was not a text. <laughs> I'm sorry that everybody's chat's down. That's not fun. But I am determined to get the Shelf of Shame bingo ch card. I really want to get this guy done today. That would be, that would be fabulous. There we go. Giving him little highlights because I already darkened some of his stuff. It's his grinning face. All right, so I want to point out, can you guys see the blue shadows that I've added? They go really well with the purple. They're very, just, you know, subtle, but they really give a lot of, um, how do you call it, pop or, you know, saturation, that kind of thing to the model itself. I'm going to grab, let's see, we're going to paint his tail because I feel like he's like naked tail. It's all, it's all black. And we need some other colors. Where is my lips gray? I don't think that's what I need. Ah, here we go. Petroleum gray. It's sort of a dark, dark brown gray. Somebody pointed that out. And I, whoop, I like that. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you haven't looked, let me show you overhead real quick. Whoop, wait, not overhead. There we go. I added some more plants to the gecko tank, and I'm hoping that now they've got more cover and they'll walk around more. Maybe you'll even, maybe you'll even see them every now and then. That would be kind of cool. All right, back to this. Let's see, I need a different brush. I think I need a flat. Yeah, flats are better for basing. And I'm gonna mix these two colors together, the light gray and the dark, to get my mid color, which was this beautiful color right here, a little bit more. Dark gray, there we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, ooh, that's too, that's too, too light. Ah, oh, bummer. Something has gone wrong. Please try again later. Ah, oh. yeah, it looks weird. Blue Sarah just sent me a message. Chat is down across Twitch. Whispers have disappeared as well. That's what Jan just sent me. Oh man. Thanks for that information. At least, well, we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess, right? I can kind of see why Key Lime handed off and was like, nope, not going to do that. But like I said before, I'm going to keep doing this. You can still hear me. I th I'm pretty sure you can still, still hear me, even though I, uh, I cannot see or or hear you guys. I can see that a few people are watching and I, as long as I see people are watching, I will continue painting. So stick around. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it painted. Somebody um, said to me the other day that they cared more about the talking and the interaction than they did about the music. So that is why I'm actually continuing to paint because I know you guys can sit and lurk and paint with me. Yeah, Twitch is being <laughs> loud and clear. You can hear me. Awesome. I love the fact that we're using our own um, ingenuity to, like, get through. So people are Facebooking me, and um, that's, ex that's excellent. <laughs> Good. We'll, just, we'll definitely keep painting for sure then because I need to get this guy on the table. And I know you guys have some stuff that you need to, so this actually, this is a good excuse. I'm gonna do face for this. This is a really good excuse for you guys to paint with me because you don't have to distract yourself by typing to me and you can get some stuff done. Let's all make a little pack together that we're gonna try to get as much of a mini done, whatever we're working on as possible in these three hours, okay? You can listen to me, you can lurk and work. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it together. 
It's a pact. I know you, I know you pinky sweared with me because I, I psychically heard you do it, right? <laughs> all right, let's paint this dragon booty. There we go. There's all this stuff back here I didn't even get. Get that back there. Doo, 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 doo. All right, I need a little bit of the, this color is called black leather and I love it. It's such a nice dark, deep purple. And I'm gonna put this um, back here as well because it's gonna give us lots of lovely, ooh, that's maybe too purpley. Yeah, let's go back to gray. Let's just, okay, well that works right there, that works. Okay, I can do that. I can do purple on top of gray. That does work. But the, the, just the purple by itself was not going to work. Okay. And now we've got another kind of a, sort of a meridian line on there that I'm going to have to do that kind of shark, shark thing on as well. Yeah. More gray. You be mixing? See, you, you actually have a sort of a palette cam today, huh? You see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get it lighter up on this part. This part is being lit from above, so it's going to be lighter. Yep. This would be so much faster if I had an airbrush right now. I'd be like, bzz, 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 bzz. it'd be done. But we do not. We do not have an airbrush. All right. But we do have a very big brush. That's what I do. Oh. That is a big cat hair. Can you guys see that? Can't see that, can you? That's a big one. Here, it goes from here to here. Cat hair. Can you, you can't do moats. No moats today. Sorry, that was like a mild troll, wasn't it? <laughs> Love it. All right. I'm getting so much done. Oh, this might be also kind of a good time to listen to some of my newer music. Actually, no, it won't work because I can't pipe it through my computer. Darn. Good stuff, too. You'll, you'd only be able to hear it every time I talk, that's all. All right, almost done with this tail. This part, under part, again, gets to be dark. We'll add some more purple to that. Ooh. See how I have to do this on stream? So you can see, cover all the things. Somebody asked me a few um, times if I'm going to cover these, am I going to fill in those um, mold lines and stuff? And I just said, no, no, we're not filling in the mold lines because we're getting it done and it's mine. And so it doesn't matter if it, if it were a commission, I would absolutely be filling those in. My commissions are much higher quality work than my personal work because I don't have time to paint my own stuff. We talked about that too last time. All right, that looks a million times better with that. Let's just see, is his leg done? His leg is not done. We gotta cover all the things. You know, it's kind of funny because in the past I was very self-conscious about doing just base coating on stream because it's boring. Now I don't know if it's boring, so it's actually making it easier for me. I mean, more, more gray. Where is my... Let's see, put the colors here so I don't lose them. Is it this one? Clips gray, no. The, the model's so big that I'm putting paint down on the table and then probably... Is it falling off? Hmm... Oh, there it is, right in front of me. There we go. We're going to put more down there. There we go. Do, do. Let me see if anybody's texting me on Facebook. Good. Yep. <laughs> Everything is borked on Twitch. That's a bummer. All right. We're, great. we're good, though. So what's funny about the whole t Twitch thing is that the obviously the hosts and the raid still kind of work because, or at least the hosts work because Jan and Keyline both were able to do that. 
So I don't know. That's kind of weird. Oh man. I just found this is like a piece of where the sprue attaches. Let me see if I can cut that off without cutting myself. There we go. Yes. Okay, good. That's good, good, good. There we go. I'm just going to paint the bottom of his feet. There we go. I don't know why I want to do that, but I do. All right, get the rest of the feetsies. Yes. He's kind of got these like chicken leg dragon, dragon feet. Okay, now I have a little bit of paint on my brush. Let's see if I can thin it out with some water to make this glaze. Can you see this glaze I just made? And we've got this highlight right here. What happens? If I glaze that gray over that highlight, it's kind of bringing it back down. That's good. That's nice. I like that. You can move that around a little bit so that, oh, perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And I want to do that again. We got to let that highlight completely dry though, before we do that kind of, that kind of two steps up, one step down thing. Now I'm kind of, Kind of wet blending it in a little bit with a little bit, a little bit of overbrushing as well. There, lovely. Okay, I'm liking that a lot. Do a little bit more of that up here. See, now I'm blending it so now it looks nice, it looks smooth. Good. Oh, I love it. All right, now same thing, highlights across the toes a little bit. Just the top of the foot. A little bit here too. We're just going to do a little bit of highlighting in the middle. Not too much inside the legs because really not going to be a ton of lighting coming in there. Just a little bit. You can do a tiny bit down here too with the gray. Yeah, very good. Now we need that moon ray. Let's see if I can make little shadows here. Seems like I'm painting very sloppy, doesn't it? You're actually, it's funny because I actually paint a lot differently than um, in person than I do on stream. When I don't have to worry about people questioning me all the time, this is kind of working for me. I'm sorry, guys. I love you, but I am gonna. You're gonna get to see Shoshi in the studio today, and that is that is a good thing because you kind of get to see how I work when I don't have people asking me stuff. It's a lot more intuitive, and it's a lot more. Um, how do I say? I'm kind of figure thing, figuring things out as I go. And a lot less um, trying to be more precise. Because as a teaching stream, I'm always trying to show you guys, all right, this is what I'm doing, this is why. But when I'm painting in my studio, I don't always know why until I've already done it. And then I'm like, oh, that looks good. I like that. So that's, that's why it looks good. Okay, see, more dry brushing. Little bits of dry brushing, not too much. See how that blue and that shadow really pops that contrast? Happy with that. Okay. Now let's do a little sandstone on his belly. I want to do that. Just make that seem a little bit more like a like a vulnerable belly because he is he is a dragon still, even though he's a big. Look at the size of him compared to the survivor. Here's, here's the, oops, here's the dragon, and here's the survivor. This is, yeah, good luck. Good luck fighting him. Oh, I see some, I see some chat, guys. Try talking to me now. 
You remind me of Bob Ross, but for miniatures, I always think no matter, know, know what you're doing, that's too much. You're ruining it, and seconds later, oh, that's how it's done. Yes, that's exactly right. Communate is, how do I say your name? Communisator. Communisator? Communis. Communisator. Communisator. There we go. Hey, Teviston. It's good to see you. I'm glad you guys all stuck around for me. Now I can see chat. Yes, Mr. Scott G. Yes. Happy, happy. Yay, Nixton Minis, Tevison, Krakenid. Sorry, normally just lurking and looking for inspiration since you have a huge backlog too. Good, good. We're doing the backlog. We're doing all of the minis that I've been having on my shelf of shame for forever and getting them done. And yes, and look at this guy. Look at how pretty he is. He's getting really good. Bingo, yes, thank you so much. Yay! I'm so glad chat is working. Now I got some kind of Gmail. Yeah. All right, I can shut my I can shut everything off now. Amberton says, did you get your Chronicles of Run? Oh, that's cool. When are those all coming out anyway? Are they coming out now? Okay, real quick, I'm gonna do a little highlighting on his on his tail. Get some of that. That might be, yeah, no, I actually like that. Let's keep doing that. We'll blend it in. We'll blend it in. Okay. Now see what I'm doing here? I'm scumbling. And it's kind of a way to, it's scribbling, it's scribbling, it's scumbling. We're just blending that in. I'm gonna get some more darker gray down here. Add that to it. Blend, wipe, wet blend that up. There we go, see? That working? That looks, that looks pretty good on, on camera to me. You saw my class listing for ReaperCon. You're signing up for a night owl one. Awesome. Yeah, I think I have one night owl class. I think it was because uh, somebody told me that not very many people are, are making night owl classes. And I thought, well, I think we should have one because those are the best classes sometimes. Okay, he's getting, getting some tail on here, good. Let's do a little bit of the pink. A little bit of the pink right there. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Needed that. There we go, add, 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 add. He's gonna have the shark thing over here as well. Hey, old man Logan, how are you? Back in it says, let's interrupt our favorite teacher's creative process as the bad kids we are. <laughs> hey, I don't mind. I'm glad that chat's working for you guys again. That's okay. <laughs> you don't get to quite see Studio Shoshi though. I will say that Studio Shoshi is a whole different, it is more like a Bob Ross thing. It's like, let's see what happens when we put some happy little brush strokes on this part right here. Okay, and no, and we, yeah, so that's what it's like. So let's see, so this whole part here, I need to do oh, all the way on the tail. So I need to go back up here and make this actually much lighter. Because I thought, Hmm, let's do the pink and then we can lighten that up later. Yes. Let's add pink and moon ray flesh together. Ooh, that might be too light. Let's add a little gray. So we're gonna be going back and forth. Gray and there we go. That's perfect. I add a little gray to the pink. Okay. Now we add more gray over into crevices here. Wet blend that in. This whole part should be kind of dark because he is, um, yeah, that's his belly and he's, it's not lit, right? There's no light, but I wanted that lighter because this part is lighter and I totally forgot. We should probably add a little bit of light up here as well. Right, there we go, that's better. 
I don't want to mess that up. That's better. Good. I'm glad you're doing good, old man Logan. Amberton says, is Twitch having problems tonight? It's not working on my iPad at all. Chat doesn't work on the Internet Explorer. The Twitch app works on my PC. So, yeah, Twitch, is, Twitch has been wonky this week. I don't know why. It, I had issues with it um, on, on Wednesday as well. And now we're having issues with chat today. At least I'm able to stream, you know. I'd rather there be issues with chat than not be able to broadcast because at least then you can still watch. Can we get some hype for Genuine Vision and for Keyline Prime? Because I wasn't able to do that earlier. Keyline Prime and Jan both hosted and rated. Hosted. Which needs you to send them more money to make things work. Oh. I know, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, that looks nice. I like that. Let's replicate some of that lighter, lighter gray. Now we're going to mix the moon ray flesh with the gray to get a lighter gray. Ooh, I like that. Contrast, contrast. I'm working fast. Okay. Underbelly. Might as well get the inside of the legs as, as I'm doing that. Okay. Thank you for the shout outs, Lamunas. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh, is my stupid bot not subscribed again? Yeah, that's weird. I... I could sub my bot. Somebody tell me how to, because every time I've been buying a sub for my bot, how do I do, how do I do it? Thank you for the subscription. Oh my gosh, giggity. 22 months. I feel like I should celebrate it with a joke. How many surrealists does it take to change a light bulb? Answer, fish. <laughs> Mad loved, genuine vision. Wow, 22 months. That is insane. Thank you. So much for your support and your friendship. Genuine Vision Guys is one of my triptych brothers. Here we go, subscribers. We got, there we go. Give him a follow. Wait, V-I-S-I-O-N. Look at how I did that. Boom. <laughs> He is a top bloke, as they say, over across the pond. Do they say that in Ireland? I don't think they, do they say that in Ireland? Top bloke? I know that you'll appreciate the compliment either way. I, I, I know, but why is my bot being weird though? If I get a lifetime sub, that's somebody else told me that I shouldn't have to pay for a, a, a sub for my bot. Yeah. Should write to support about the bot sub. They were offering lifetime subs for bots if you're a partner. Oh, well, maybe they're trying to get people to use a Twitch bot of some kind now, you know? That makes sense. I don't know. You know, okay, so I wrote to them about my issue with the fact that um, I can't post links in my own chat. And they haven't replied to me. And I don't know what's going on. So I'm a little irritated about that already. Can you explain it to her? Can you explain it to me? It's okay if you can't. It's I understand. All right. Trying to get the, the tail to get whiter and whiter. I'm a partner. Partners get a lifetime T3 sub for their bots. How do I do that though? Cuz the How do I how do I sub from how do I get my bot? Let's see, Shoshi bot. Can I just, what's this, unmod? Nope. No, it won't let me. It's gonna make me pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Nick's Minis. I appreciate you coming by. 
Yeah, I got an email. Okay, I'll email support. Thanks for letting me know, Miss Scott G. I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay for it. Cause I, I've already paid for two months of subbing for my bot, and that's weird. Yeah, I'm adding belly, belly color. Just every time I, every time that dries a little bit, go back onto it and scumble, scumble the tail a little lighter, a little bit more light gray. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Let me look at this. Yep. Oh, yeah, we'll do it. A little bit more. When he goes back, yay! I'm glad it's back on your iPad, Amberton. That's good. Got a little pink because it's looking a little white. So there we go. That's better. A little bit here too on the belly. Do do do. Oh, now you guys can tell me about your weekend plans if you want. Or you can tell me what you're going to be working on for the remainder of this stream. Bingo. So I have a Twitch um, exclamation point bingo. If you want to, if you want to see the bingo card, we're all working on. It's not everybody, but a bunch of us. And um, you can see how it's going to be helping us get through our giant, humongous backlogs because a lot of us have them. Okay, loving this. He really needs that contrast on his tail because it, yes. All right, good. That, okay. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be slaving away at work all weekend, Nixon? Aw. Jan just did a uh, face palm, probably because of my bot, right? That's all right. Yes, the Dragon King. Hey, Gamer Hudson, how are you? We're working on the Dragon King. Twitch has been wonky, so if, you know, chat cuts out again, just stick with me. I'm going to keep streaming for the rest of the night until, what is it? Today is Friday, so we're working, well, the rest of 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock is when I finish. But we're going to keep trying. I need some more gray. We're going to add gray over the top of that. It won't look so much. It won't look like paint because if we add a layer of gray, ooh, that might be too much. Yeah, that might be a little bit. Oh, no, that actually worked out. That covers. Yes. We can get lighter as that dries. I want this smoothed out. It's looking rough over here. You're assembling more KDM? Awesome. We're going to be playing. My husband and our gaming group are going to be playing KDM on the 16th. And um, I'm trying to think how far we are with our campaign. We're getting there. Yeah, I love. You see how the dry brush just, it doesn't pick up those, those lines. I love that. Yes, because I want those little striations. They make it look more like skin. Oops, too much. See, do you see how I wore a hole? I don't want that. Don't wear a hole in your... In your paint. There we go. That's better. There we go. Oh, he did the face palm because I did top loke. Aw, I didn't know. <laughs> Luna says the chat is still messed up. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, partners may request up to two free permanent bot subscriptions for their channel. This will allow your bot to perform functions such as show off your channel's emotes and chat. Two, request the bot to, oh, you got to submit a request to partner help. Well, that makes sense. Maybe, so I have to write back to partner help anyway because they never responded to me because I was, I don't know, partner help was slow. There we go. We're going to make the end of his tail just a smidge on the darker end because I don't know. I don't want to think I want it to get. There we go. See, yeah. Yeah, I wet blended that. Boom, 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 boom. Got a little bit darker toward the end, and that's okay. 
I want that. Wheat. I didn't read the whole thing. All right, let me read it again. No, I read the whole thing. <laughs> U.S. partners may request up to two free permanent bot subscriptions for their channel. This will allow your bot to perform functions such as show off your channel's emotes and chat. To request a bot to be subscribed for your channel for free, please submit a request to partner help. I read that all. Well, I will go ahead and write them back because, like I said, I, I wrote them before. It wasn't about the bot. It was about the fact that I, my, for some reason I'm not, my bot is, oh, maybe it's because my bot isn't an official bot? I don't even know. Can't send it as a PM as that feature is broken. Yeah, that's okay, Mr. Scott G. Feel free. You can message it to me on Facebook if you want. That will work also. All right, let's get lighter. I'm gonna get some more contrast on his belly here. There we go. I like that, kind of. Let's go darker. Yeah, I kind of like it darker better. That makes the pink pop even more. We talked about this on the um, on the coaching chat chat that I had with Aaron Lovejoy, and he talked about how you want that to really pop, and you can even go a little bit further. Yeah, I think chat just pooped out again. I'm not sure what's going on. Hold on. Just remember, I'm gonna keep keep streaming, keep painting as much as I can till this guy is as close to done as I can. You look where the light is. Did somebody sent me a Facebook notification. Let's see. Do. Ah, thank you so so much, Scott. I appreciate. It. I got that. I appreciate that. I'll give you a little thumbs up. Ah, it's stretch break already. Four thirty. Is. <laughs> All right, we'll do a stretch break. Ready? I got water here. The, have you guys tried this? I haven't. I just started doing this because I have. I'm on the keto diet and I can't have any sweets or any. Like artificial, I really try to stay away from artificial sweet sweeteners. This is called Hints, and it's got like fruit flavorings, but it's not, it just tastes like water with kind of an infused fruit flavor. But I like it because I don't have to worry about, you know, sugars and stuff. Mmm. That one's blackberry, and it's super good. All right, time to stretch, time to get up. Oh, my back. <laughs> ah, we started at 2. I think 4 to 7. No, we started at 4, so it's 4.44. So, yeah, we're close enough to have a stretch break. <laughs> it's similar to LaCroix, but no... Um, no bubbles, it's just water, which is kind of nice because I've heard stuff, people say that carbonation is not good for you. I don't know how true that is either. All right, looks like we got chat back. All right, face again, there we go. Yeah, all right, so let's get out the Windsor Newton. Now we've got our tail, we're gonna fit, continue this kind of shark pattern and it's it's on the inside of our let's see we're gonna flip this this way I gotta take glasses off oop I see my name real quick let me check whisper seem to work oh good that's good maybe maybe they're getting it maybe they're getting it together 
Lando, hello. All right, let's turn him, and we're going to start. Ooh, we need that to be darker. Start our little shark meridian line. That's what that is. I'm going to add a little purple to that because I feel like it needs to be even darker than that is. Yes. I like it. So much creativity. Now we can turn that. It's easier to go dark on light. It's way easier. I think I had a little ink in this. Maybe a little black. I just realized it was messed up. Oh. <laughs> All right, that is very purple and it works, but I just think I need some other color in there because I feel like it's missing something. What did I do? You know, I'm just going to keep going. We're just going to do another layer if I need to because it's really purple right now. There you go. Try to keep it crisp. Yeah, I think that's all it needed. It needs another layer. Wow, I like that. And then we'll we'll go back into the white part. Yep. There we go. Ooh, he's looking cool. So we decided to go with kind of a shark, a shark motif on him because he's, he's dangerous looking. He's kind of terrifying looking. And it also just adds something really cool that the, the box art just, I guess there was no box art, but anyway, the concept art, that's what I meant. Concept art did not have. All right, I'm checking chat. Remember to do it. Um, at Show She's Minis, just like my little newbie just did. What about a blue gray for the pattern? Nope, this is what I'm doing. Not a newbie. Um, there will be blues within it, but I've already got my, I've already got my, um, my pattern and all my colors all picked out already. Yeah, see, that looks good. And once we, once we get going on here, yeah, that's looking, look at how cool that looks already. I want to finish this whole line. There should be another one on this side too. Oi, oi, let's do that. Actually, let's look. Okay, so this one has a thin line on both sides of the seam. Whatever the meridian line, I'm going to call it the meridian line, even though he doesn't, doesn't probably have that. There we go. <laughs> How are you, model newbie? Have you been painting? Okay, this is making this a lot easier by doing this. There we go. Oh, I just noticed that's gonna kind of go together a little where a little bit. Let's. I'm glad that some new good TV programs are coming on right now because it's kind of a dry spell for a minute. I was like, I don't have anything to watch. All my shows are over. And a bunch of shows got canceled. I got really into this one show called, kind of embarrassed to say, but Shadow Hunters. 
really, really was digging it and it got canceled. I was like, man. And now I'm doing just some smaller bumps. And then you're gonna do like a larger one down all the way down here. Yeah, it looks very animalistic that way. You can do a few little dots every now and then to kind of break things up again like that. Wait, that doesn't look like a circle. There, that's better. Awesome. You're good. Work volume is at ah, it's, it's low. Okay, no problem. You don't get in trouble at work, okay? <laughs> there we go. So sometimes when there's like a little crease right here, maybe I'll dip down a little bit more again. And keep them regular and then a little another little bump. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Yeah. Looking good. You now see where it's kind of starting to go together a little bit. I don't want it to. I don't want it to go together too much. I want it to stay separate. So this is where we can kind of just make a little bit of a smaller bumps, not not too much. That's good enough. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. That looks awesome. Let's do another little circle dot thing here. I like it. And we'll another one right here. Nice. And now this side. Let's what, get that a little bit more damp. I, I did kind of go up on the the ridge again with the purple a little bit. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yes. What do you guys think? That looks cool. Okay, let's do it this side. More paint. Okay. Ooh. Damn, I'm not being careful enough. I can. <laughs> That one's a little bit bigger than I wanted it. Let's see if I can erase it a little bit. There we go. That's better. Dan says, I think my Dragon King is going to be in his box sometime yet. Oh, that's okay. It's not, it's not on the shelf of shame until it's primed. That's my rule. Model Newbie says, did you know those lines on... Yeah, I do. Model newbie, we, it's the meridian line, and he actually sharks can actually um, they can kind of hear with it. They can sense m movement, and definitely serves a purpose. And that's kind of why I wanted it on my Dragon King, because I think it would be an, add an extra kind of coolness to the dragon. All right, do I have? I don't have it on this side. Let me do that.
a little bit more purple on this side because that needs to be able to show up. Yeah, that's better. See if I can move this so you can still see. A little bit darker. It's pretty dark over here, so I'm going to add that purple back in there. All right. I'm happy. Gosh, look at how fast we painted that, too. Let's now we're going to go in with my Moonray flesh, and we're going to kind of what I call like. Kind of sculpt out these little bits. See how that works? And then you have to feather out the rest. Just like that. And that makes it look lighter there. Blue Moonus, why are you in the corner? What'd you do? Uh, Palace Pep says, uh, watching you paint this makes me want to get the game. It's expensive, but it is a really, really fun, uh, fun to paint, and it is a very fun game. And I, I want to, it is not, so, it is not a rabbit hole. It is a falling down the entire dang cliff kind of game. Like, when you get into it, you get into it. It's just one of those kinds of games. All right, I'm going over that. I put my little polka dot back. Oh, it's a subscriber. Green, green knock, Greek Knockos, thank you for the tier one sub four months in a row. That's so awesome. Um, Greek Knockos, I don't know if I told you, but I sent out your giveaway that you won just yesterday. You should be getting that probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure how long it'll take to get there. You're over 3,000 and counting. Oh, for Kingdom Death, Milo? I must have missed something. What did, you, what did I miss? And also, uh, Link, Link Zai, I think that's how I say Link Zale, your chat is working now, so. Yeah, KDM. Oh, my goodness. Did you get the the crazy big? Um, is that for the new Kickstarter? I think I went at 15. That was about half what you did. All right, Greek. Nakos. Thank you for that subscription. Woohoo! Mad love and some hype. We, we currently have to f request the bot to have a sub because it doesn't currently have one. But until then... We won't have bot subs. Oh, all in. Whew. Yeah, no kidding. That is all in. You see how we didn't... Okay, so you can see a little bit of a line right here. I got to get rid of that. I'm going to add some gray and some... There we go. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's do that and then feather that in. that to the middle okay a little bit of yeah I um I originally had um, a one of my clients I, I made a deal with him and I gave him a discount on on um, on what was it pinups I told him I said I don't know it got it got kind of twisted around but basically he got a really good deal and I ended up being a paint slave for a little while there it was I still got to paint a lot of stuff I wanted to so that was good but um yeah that was kind of a funny thing that happened so there needs to be see all these beautiful colored shadows that needs to be down here we're not ready for that sometimes I get ahead of myself we need to paint all this other stuff first 
Now feather it out. That's much better. Trying to keep these little blobs. There we go. All right, there we go. Hmm, okay. That's getting better and better every time I touch it. Get this side as well. Okay, let me check chat. I see lots of chat. You gonna sell some of it? I'm gonna probably try to flip some of it, paint you know, paint some of it and sell some of it. Yeah, I, I there's some models in the gambler's chest I'm not too interested in. Um, but I can paint them and sell them. There we go. There we go. All right, so this line, there's sort of a, a highlight line right in here that needs to be brighter. We're gonna add a little pink to that. And watch what happens when I add that pink. Hopefully, my goal is that we'll sort of come alive right here. Yeah, it just did. We don't need to put it everywhere. Even just that little bit on that end of that tail there helps, helps bring life to the tail. We're doing lots of kind of underpainting and skin tone work on this guy. Just blend this in maybe a little bit. That works for me. <clears throat> okay, so we got all that carved out and it looks pretty good. A little bit more up here. There we go. Now I gotta flip it and do this side. Now I gotta feather that out. Cause I don't want any crunchy lines right there. There we go. Oh, I like it, I like it a lot. Let's look at this side again. Yep, yep, yep. Good. It is working. All right, um, shouldn't get distracted by the toes. Don't let the toes distract you, Shoshi. Paint that tail. 
Do you now feather that in? That looks good. And like I said, I'm just trying to keep things light versus dark and give it contrast. And then we can add a little more of that pink color in there. What blended in. So there's no lines in between. Ooh, that's too much. Too much. No mas. Much better. Okay. There is a little bit of a line going on here. I just need to add some more pink to that. There. That's better. How do you think that looks so far? That looks awesome to me. All right. We're going to add some of this smaller gray to some of the bumps here on the tail so that it gives it, I don't know. It does that. It has some dimension, dimensionality, dimensionality. Dimension. This has dimension. That's cool. I like that. There we go. There. Looking good. Love it. that almost like those are like little plates almost but I feel like that makes it have less of a shark skin look but I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it hi Robosh how are you doing there we go highlight some of the little bumps of the we'll go back over that with a wash or not a wash but a, like a a glaze to kick that back down there we go that's looking like a tail. A little bit of pink in here because that looks kind of dead. When you feel like there's things that are dead, try to add some kind of red or purple or something to give it a little bit more life. There we go. That's much better, I think. Again, I'm going to highlight this ridge with the salmon color. Mix it together with the Moonray Flesh, even. That looks good. Actually, I like that with the Moonray Flesh quite a bit. Let me do that. Hmm. Let's do that on the bend right here. That's a lot of paint, so we're going to feather that out. Good. All right, this, oh, I'm seeing all the stuff that I still need to go over. There's a lot. Okay. 
Yeah, that's very cool looking. There we go. Oop, that's too much. Yes. Okay, apologize in advance if you think this tail part is boring. I'm actually kind of digging it, kind of in the zone. I don't mind. Yeah, that looks awesome. Let's get that tail back in order because I don't know what's going on with it right here. Just make that kind of neutral. Yeah, there we go. Kinda. Oh, I love that. Wow. Wow. It's still not this cool, all that we need to do. Let's do some purple shadows. How am I going to do this? I'm going to do this right here by this meridian thing. And then there's a nice bend right here, which we can kind of feather that out into the tail a little bit. Kind of. There we go. That's better. Nice. And we're going to give it some shadows down here. Right, because all that stuff's down there. And that's all hiding. Echo Chill, hello. How's it going? Let's do more purples in here, because that's definitely going to get covered up. All right, over that, some funny glazes, maybe. Oop, I'm sorry, I'm way off camera. There's, that's better. We're going to do another glaze, because that is, that is actually underneath, isn't it? That's going to get less contrast right there. More. Oh, that's better. Thank you, Ikachel. How are you? All right. Ale is good. I think so. Let's get out our blue. We've got a um, awesome Arctic blue that we can put on here to give it even more pop for the highlights. And let's start on this leg. Because all this part right here, I'm just going to start glazing and start pulling that up color-wise. I want it to look like that. whatever the dragon muscle or whatever is just beneath the skin. And so I want to give sort of a kind of a transparent pale paleness to the, to the ooh, that's a lot. Let's not do that much. Send that out. There, that's better. See how I do my brush? I'm kind of going this way, pulling back toward the apex where the lightest is lightest, where the lightest is lightest. And then back with the gray a little bit. I'm going to let that dry. Pop this little piece out right here. All these little muscles get a highlight. Because they're small, they get a brighter highlight, right? And whatever these holes are in his leg, why does he have holes in his leg? I don't know. 
they look cool. I'm going to put a highlight by them so that they stand out. So your eye like looks at those. That's interesting. So the, the eye is going to stop on that because that's interesting. And again, another little moon ray highlight up in on the top right here. We can kind of mush that in with the brush kind of in a zigzag way. That looks good to me. Let's do. Let's pull that out a little bit and then get the gray back. Glaze back over it. Where's my blue? There it is right here on top of this little gray hole that I accidentally painted on it. The blue is what's making it look like it's kind of transparent, I believe. Because that feels like it's under, under the skin. There. Oh my goodness, should we take another stretch break? It is 517. If I, let's see, the holes are vents for his level of awesome, yeah. I'm doing good, Echo Chill. You're not in the mood for painting. It's it's hot. Oh, I understand. That's okay. Ooh, if I recall correctly, the dots are sensitive to electro electrical charge in the water. That's awesome to know. That makes me want to do something here. Hold on a second. Where is my white? Here we go. So since the yeah, if those are sensitive to some kind of electrical charge, we're going to do something about that. Watch. Instead of making those dark holes, we're going to make them white holes and then add, add awesomeness to them. As one of you guys just put it. That's going to be neat. I'm adding the white. This is kind of how I do the OSL as well. Ooh. Put the white down first. Ah, oh, that's cool. And then we can make more. Ooh, I like it. That pops. Now that's something I didn't have is the white on the chest here. We're not going to put a lot because white is powerful, powerful color and you don't want too much. Dot, dot, dot. Not a lot. Pop. All right, we got those. What's, let's get out. So I, I don't know if this needs shaking more or what, but I have some of the new fluorescents and compared to Vallejo, I'm not so sure I like them. Um, let's show you the difference on the, I don't know if it's, oh, it might be too bright. Let me see. Cat Herder says, model honeybee, help me out here. It's been a long time since, since you read the bio. Um, I was mistaken. They're used to direct, detect pressure and water speed. Oh, shark electro sensors. Oh, I, th I forgot that you were, well, it's okay. We're going to use, this is the Scale 75 paint. And I want you to see how that thins out. You can barely see that. Can you see that? It thins out. It's pretty, it's not very pigmented. This is the model color. It's more pigmented. It's a little bit more bright too. Yeah, because it's almost like an ink. Look at the difference between Scale 75 and the Vallejo when I thin them out. Okay, that just holds pigment. Ah, Gaiden Hitomi, thank you so much. How are you? Welcome. Let me write down your name. Your subscriber, thank you so much. Oh, you're following. Thank you for following. Welcome. 
All right, so then let's see what happens when we thin this one out. Eh. Just doesn't hold its ah. Uh, Echo Chill, thank you for the subscription. Four months in a row. That's fantastic. We really appreciate that here. Woo! He almost did a face plant into my, he almost did a face plant into my palette. Echo Chill. Is it more, it's morning where you are, isn't it? Do we keep the wet palette that wet? No, that is a good point, uh, Palos. I shouldn't, you should not keep it that wet. I don't, I just was in a rush. I'll be honest and I didn't have time. Okay, let's see what happens when we do this. See how that goes on. I think I'll take that out a little bit. We're going to make that, we're going to put a little white back in there and hopefully. Yeah, that's better, much better. Let's see, just a little bit on our palette. Uh, better. I like that. Right on top of that white. Looks good that way. Okay, speaking of white. I feel like that needs to go more white. Not a ton more, but a little bit more. I like that a lot. There we go. Ooh, my eyes took a second. They were like... We don't want to focus right now. Sorry, Shoji. Did we take that second chip? We should take that second um, stretch bake, I think. It'll probably help some. Gonna take a smidge of this pink and see what happens. Let me pull that out. Ooh, I like it. Mmm. A little bit under the veins. I like that a lot. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it. We'll just mess. Ooh. There. Hmm. Okay, we're still working on the tail. There's a lot to do. We need to kind of What are we going to do? We're going to we're going to do a glaze maybe? I'm not sure. Let's do a glaze of this pink over that blue. I think that'll make a big difference. That looks good. That's better. And now the the gray needs to get blended back into it. That's good. All right, I do need a stretch break, I think, because I'm getting a little tired. It's that time of day. It is, wow, 525. Let's do a face here. See you, cat herder. Thanks so much. Oh, it's it's 30 a.m. 0:30. What does that mean? 0:30. Does that mean it's 12:30 in the morning? I don't really know. Oh, oh, that's because you're in Europe. For a second, I echo chill. I thought you were in um. I thought you were in uh, Australia, because then I was like, but it should be, it should be well into the sunrise after, for Australia. Hey, winner, how are you? Thank you so much for coming by. 
Check out this tail we were doing here overhead. We got a lot done. Um, I'm kind of glad that we were going to do a tandem stream with Winter, but it looks like when I started chat, like no nobody's chat, and that would have been so frustrating for us on top of all the Discord stuff. Risen from the Dead, you love that pattern, isn't it great? He's crazy looking, he's awesome. Very happy to have this in my personal collection now. Feeling like he's getting closer and closer to being done. I didn't think I was gonna go into this much depth with him, but the, now that I have, I'm happy I have. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do a little more of these little holes, I think. Bear with me, Shoshi's glasses are off. Well, kind of like that. That's gonna be cool. Kind of looks cool, just white. And then there was these. Like that. Definitely. He's got these kind of like weird little bumps, pimples, I don't know what they are, but some kind of little nodules on the back of him that are really looking cool. So much to do, he's so big. Ooh, that was a little bit bigger than I thought. Ooh, I need more of those. All right, give me one sec. I will check chat. There we go. I like that. That's looking awesome. Okay, let me look at chat now. Scott G says, that's Stockholm time zone. Oh, okay, there we go. That helps me. You love him so much. Ah, oh, thanks so much. I, I'm digging him too. Looking forward to getting him on the table and playing. Get these little pink deals. There, and we'll go back and fix, fix all those so those Clean up real nice. So the trick with the with the real bright ones is they need something in the dark around them to really be contrasting. So I'm gonna add that back in there. Same thing on the top, I think. There, that's better. And then I already got a little bit of that pink in there, just a little bit of white. Kind of make it look like it's a glow. Just a smidge. That's better. I like that. Yes. Pattern is awesome. Thank you, Joanne. Yes, definitely give Winner a shout out. He's an awesome person, awesome streamer, and uh, definitely one of my buddies. There we go. Friend of the stream. Winner's also working on um, Shelf Shame Bingo with me, and he's probably the one who gets the most credit for all of the 
graphics and work that was done on it because I didn't do anything that give maybe advice a little bit. That's it. <laughs> okay, let's do this darker down here again. This looks like it has some little paint rubbed off. Oh. There's some dried paint on the end of my brush, man. There we go, that's nice and dark. I like that. You wanna have dark next to somewhere that's real bright and, and lit. That looks awesome. There we go. Okay. Oh, this whole leg needs to be done now. Blushy face. Oh, <laughs> hi, Orcus Gaming. How you doing? Willows, good morning. All right, we need to we need to get it back into the gray here. Look at this look at this tail, Orchrist. Isn't that nice? Wow. That was my tail whip sound effect. Not included with the game. Okay. There we go. That's much better. We can lighten some of that up here. Yep, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and all this little bits, that got all jacked up over here. Make those small. That works. All right, I want to show you guys something that's going to blow your minds because I figured this out today. Um, where is it? I have a paint, this one right here. It's called Deep Blue. It's one of the colors that I'm going to use to really pop contrast. Now, I want to first of all, in order to show you how this works and why it works the way it does, I'm going to mix on my hand here the two colors th that we have here. We've got this purpley reddish um, purple color, right? That's the black leather. We've got my little gray up here too, a little bit of gray. That also has a brownish, it's a brownish gray. You're a master of tail. I didn't say that. <laughs> I was watching on the iPad since the start. So Twitch, yeah, Twitch wasn't working earlier. All right, here's that blue, and when we mix it with that purple, here's the purple again, you get a lovely dark kind of bluish, well, let me add some more of that, little bluish, like a gray. It's like Payne's gray almost. See that? And that's going to really, it's almost, it's going to be better than black. Now, watch what happens. We're going to add this to the painting here. You're going to die. Watch this. We're going to put blue in my shadows. See how that just pops? It's deep and it's saturated and your eye loves saturated colors. And this is something that Aaron and I talked about in the coaching. See there. It's a shadow, but it's still a color. Isn't that funny? We can add, we can have color in shadows. And look at that, how that really pops that volume. Let's do it up here. You're going to see, okay, look at how it kind of reads flat right now. Add in that blue in the crevices. And we're going to feather it out over the skin. And look at how that does that. Feather it out over the whole thing here. So it's almost like a glaze right there. 
Ow. Let's do a little bit on the rib cage. Ow. Look at that blue. And it's still going to read as gray, isn't it? Even though it's not going to go completely blue, right? Just in my shadows there. Don't you love that? I want to show you how I got the idea for this. One, it was Aaron Lovejoy, who I recently backed his Patreon uh, Minch Monthly. But also, one of my followers, um, here, I'll show you the photo. Her name is, hold on, I'll tell you who her name is even. Ew, where's the picture? Her name is Ty Level 6. Ty Level 6 posted, can you guys see this? Posted this picture, uh, like a screen cap. You guys you can't really see that, can you? Posted the screen cap of my work. And it she kind of used almost like a filter or the contrast was blown out or something. But this is what the this is what the figure actually looked like. And I was like, but I want it to look like this. That looks awesome. So that's what we're doing right now. We're adding that blue glaze. Yeah, the iPad. It does make a difference, doesn't it, Bolos? <laughs> we're gonna add it to the tail. It's gonna be cool. Actually, I'm gonna add it more to this end because I want this end to be darker. Let's add. I'm just gonna start thinning out my glaze with water. See, I want I want that gray to still show through. So I'm pulling that out. See, I love it. Look at how deep that is now. That beautiful saturated blue. Okay. We can also add some some of this. This is the satin version, Arbuckle's Brown, of that black leather. And mix those two together with your eye. Watch what happens when I take some of this Arbuckle's Brown. It's like a beautiful maroon color. And I take that over the top. Ooh, it's just a lovely purple now. But it's nuanced because we're kind of adding that back in there. There we go. Love it. Now it feels like a watercolor almost too. I like that as well. More of this uh, Arbuckle's brown. Yeah, it makes a, a big difference for sure. See that purple on the top there? Just when you thought it couldn't get any better. She did this. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, now this side. Don't want to miss it. Add a little bit of that blue to it so that it goes more purplish, blush grayish. And we're going to go a little bit more right there. See, now we can glaze a little bit. I'm in love with that tail. Look at he, he now he's starting to look like the, uh, the thing. Yeah, amazing. Get some blue. Let's see if I can... Ah, thank you for that subscription. You'll never know just subscribed. Let me get this blue in here first. We'll write your name down. There's a little bit of 
the tea staining, which I can get rid of with the gray when I kind of go back over that. That looks good. You guys know I love my watercolor. All right, where is, you will never know, we got a pen to write you down. It says 23 months in a row. That's almost two years, you will never know. So it'll be two years in July. We gotta do something, don't we? You will never, we'll do that, K and O. Thank you for that, mad love. Let's give some hype for that. So weird, you thought this went through Wednesday? Oh, maybe it did. Sometimes Twitch has been really weird. It is, to I remember that too. I think it did go through Wednesday, but that's okay. I will happily celebrate it again. And again and again and again. Loving that, loving that colors. Okay. Now on this side, so look at the difference between this side, but this is drying, it's tea staining a little bit, but that's okay. And this side, look at this side. There's a little bit of blue, but not much. And then this side, that one's drying. Let's do that right here. Ooh, I'm gonna take better care of my brushes. Oh, no problem, model newbie. Thanks so much for coming back. Here we go. I wish Ty Love could see this. I don't know if she's watching. But she is the reason for this color shift in, uh, in this model, which I'm loving. Got a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue. Okay, and then again, in the creases of the legs, a little bit more. Let's feather this out so it doesn't get all crispy. A little bit of that red in there too. Ooh, that's that's a lot. Look at that. Dang. What happens when I feather that out? Oh yeah, I love it. Do that down there. He's alive. Just a little bit of blue. Kind of helps that feel like a transparency in the flesh. See how that does? I have to let that tea stain on top there. Now let's go back with that moon ray flash. Oh yeah. Yes. Loving it, loving it. Okay. Let's see, I need more sandalwood on my palette, just a smidge. Did I miss something? A lot more hype, haha. <laughs> Nice, thanks for that, Winter. Appreciate that. Can you guys believe that this is, this is not my, like this is not table, it's not exactly tabletop standard, but it's also not exactly super high end either because it is mine and I don't, don't tend to do super super high end on my own stuff. But who wouldn't who wouldn't use this on their table? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Let's do a little bit more of that burgundy. There we go. 
Now I feel like I need to get back in there with my blue. Let's try that. Blue in the recesses right there. I like that. Funny because I was originally going to kind of probably airbrush some of this, but nope, not now. I don't like it too much. All right, let's see if I can do some shadowing with some red and some purple here. There we go. Where's some gray? Because that looks like a hot mess right there. Leave that part right there dark because it's shadowed by him kind of hunching over it, right? Do a little pink. Now for the horn right here, I've been doing kind of a, just a dark gray and then using my reds and purples and blues, getting that nice and deep. There we go, that's better. I like that. I like that with the blue and the purple. Now I've got to feather this in because it's very messy looking right now. Mm. There we go. Oh, I like it. Beautiful. Get, get home and cat blocks the TV. Yep. Did I find the chess piece? I did not crack it. I didn't look for it. I, I know it's in there somewhere. When I usually leave stream, I'm so pooped. I just don't have energy for much. So that's probably why I didn't look for it. There's a high likelihood that I, I won't find it anytime soon. <laughs> Okay, good. I think we're we're getting places with them. What's left? Let's do a little bit of blue up in here. See if that gets any deeper. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Do a little bit of that purple in this bit right here. Oops. See what I did? Take that off. There we go. See, I got it. Now let me go back and fix that. There we go. Much better. And we need more depth right here, maybe. I like it. Oh. My goodness. Let's see if I can get a little bit more white on the eyes here. Ooh, I like it. Let's 
change that back to moon ray. And you can tint that a little bit as well with a little gray, just a smidge. And even a little bit of gray on this side so it's a little bit more blended. Contrast, contrast. Do a little bit more blue back here. How's that? How about that? Okay. Craziness. I love it. I love it. Love it. Oh my God. I love him. Make that. We're putting in the blue in just little spots. Now he's starting to look mean, isn't he? Is he starting to look mean to you guys? Uh, he's starting to look more like a shark. I love it. He needed these, oop, needed these little blue shadows in here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man, he's scary now. Do some more, more blue in the depths of his face. Love it. And then a little bit of that purple, purplish, reddish. This is really intuitive painting right now, guys, because I kind of am in a zone. I don't quite know where I'm going with it, but I just know that I'm liking it. I'm liking it. E. All right, I need to put glasses on because it probably looks like crap with my... No, he looks pretty cool. Look at that. I'm digging the glossy look before it dries. I think so. I'm not a satin varnish, but maybe on some parts. Let's see. What do I have that I could use? Mixing medium? No. Hmm. What do I have that I can do? I, oh, here it is. Is that it? No, that's metal medium. I'll look for a little bit of a satin varnish because I agree there needs to be some depth, some contrast. There's like a whole bunch of different kinds of contrast and one of them is the difference between flat and glossy. And that's metal medium also. That's not what I want. This might be the glossy medium. There we go, gloss varnish. Probably don't want true gloss, but we'll we'll see. Let's try what let's try it on his horns first or his teeth maybe because I feel like those areas would not be matte for sure. Let's do it in his eyes. Whoops. Let's try it over his horns. We don't want too much, or it could. Ooh, I like that. We don't want it over as too glossy, or it might start looking kind of fake, right? Just a few spots. That's cool. Let's do the teeth. Let's 
That's bad. That's awesome. Okay, his total back of his head is not even painted. We need to figure that out because that's not going to work. I love that. Oh, we need to do claws too. Hmm. See how I did that with the purple? With the reddish purple? There we go. Like that. it again yeah that looks good with that brown and then a little bit of that blue down in the deep, deepest recesses Right? That'll mix. And it kind of mixes with your eye a little bit as well. Yeah, that's exactly what I, I like. That looks good. So this is drying and it, it looks really nice, shiny like that. Kind of makes me think the back of his spine needs to be a little bit glossy also. Just a smidge right there. There. Ooh, look at that. What did that do? That just popped it. Why? Huh. I didn't know that that would do that. That looks amazing. Huh. Ow. Okay. We're still lacking a little bit of highlight back here. So let's see if I can add that back in there. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay, so over here again, Got a smidge of white to that. Just see what happens. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe not too much. Yes. Must have added white to that other one. What do you think of that? Ow. Pop. Got a little bit of... Colors, a little bit of colors here, because white is not white. And that brings life back with the rosiness. And let's do a smidge of blue, too, because I feel like blue will kind of set that back down in there. Yes, it does. <laughs> Cancels out a little bit of that red. Just a little bit. Yeah, thanks for that idea about the varnish. That turned out pretty cool. Now I'm adding the ice blue in here. I'm digging that. Okay, that did have a little bit of white in it up here, just a smidge. We're just going to hit a little bit of a highlight here with the white. And bring it over here. 
Boy, who would win in this in a fight? The Dragon King or Godzilla? <laughs> Let's start a chat fight with that. <laughs> Godzilla, his name is the coolest. Yeah. <laughs> That, I kind of was expecting that answer, if I'm honest. All right, I'm liking that a lot. Oh, look at that tail. You guys, you can't even see all the nuances on camera. It's just awesome. Do some glazing over that with the gray. I think I'm gonna leave, leave the rest kind of dark because I like how that's look that's looking. We can add a smidge, maybe a smidge more white right here. Godzilla, he shoots lasers. That's true. But we don't know what this guy does. He's got something going on over here. We know that. All right, I'm going to paint in these tattoos a smidge better than I did. I'm going to make that white, white. Ah, there's another subscriber, Slag Bomb. Thank you for that. You're awesome. Where did my... And go. Thank you for the subscription. Now you keep getting to use my emotes two months in a row. That's a streak. Awesome. Thank you, Slag Bomb. Boo. Slag. Whoops. There we go. B A. I got ahead of myself. There we go. Look at that. Kind of a little reflective dot there, hmm, maybe. Well, we might can always take it out if it's not working. I like that. Amazing. Let's put his arms on and see what he looks like. Let's put this one on over here. So this, I need to finish the back of this. So he's almost done. His body is almost done. I gotta finish the back of his horns. Let's do that super quick. Let me look. I think that's all gonna be darkish grays, purplish colors. Yeah, we'll just do that. We're blending. Makes my life easy. Geez, one huge critter. He is critter. He is a huge critter for sure. I'm going to be more careful on the sides here because I don't want to mess it up. All right, what did I do? I did a sort of an ink thing back there. I'm not sure. We'll do this blue back here as well. Yeah, I did do ink in the back. All that should be pretty dark, in my opinion. Let's do this side is more gray. And more purple. Yeah, I actually like that, that a lot better.
that works I like that although let's do this with this flip it we can add some more Okay, that needs to dry. A little bit of white, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I like that. that side too hmm all right let me go back to finishing this tattoo the wings look good just wait we're gonna we're gonna take a second here And I'm going to add, um, we're putting the tattoo back on. I'm going to have to airbrush these tattoos because they're just not, not so great right now. There we go. That's going to get airbrushed over too, probably a little bit with some of this magenta, maybe, maybe a little bit. Let's see what happens. Woo! That's my, that's hot right there. Woo! Bring it back down, bring it back down. All right, that's that. Let's put his arm on. It is time for a cat stretch break, yes. The pink under the tattoos makes them look carved into the skin. Yeah, I need to work on that. I need to, I want it to look like they kind of are like that. All right, there's one arm. Look at that crazy guy. Let's do the other one. This one's not painted yet at all. We didn't do anything to this. Let's see how that's going to look. No! Oh, he's going to be awesome. I think we better paint that wing, right? I'm going to paint this. I'll show you how I did this. I'm going to mix my grays again. So we just started with the two grays until we got a middle gray. And kind of just got, I need the big brush again. What's the plan for the tattoos? They they're just going to be mundane tattoos. Or are they going to be, they're going to have a glowing effect, Yuli. I just, uh, I got to airbrush that to get that effect. Um, let's take a break real quick. Let's do a stretch. Because my back is getting stiff. Okay. Ooh, it just popped my back. Will I be gluing that thing together? I will be. Probably not on this stream, but I will. I'll be gluing them together, and then I'll probably, probably maybe fill the gaps in his arms, depending on how big they are. Yeah, he's, he's getting there. Oh, man. Okay, so one of the things I know I did was I got that flesh ink. Willows told me about that. This, this is the good stuff right here. Let's put, some, can you tell? 
Hang on, look at look at this. This has been needing cleaning for a little bit. This is Skin Wash by Game Ink. And it's very pigmented, so we're gonna use just a little bit of it with some water. Because look at that, just, that's pretty pigmented. And where are we gonna put this? We're gonna put this on this side of us. Whew, I should have taken that off. Who knows? Okay, so we're gonna put this on this side of his horns. You're not gonna see too much of that. I need more of this. Moon Ray Flesh. Let's mix some of that in there and then we're gonna wet blend that into that ink. Just a smidge. See, now it's getting there. There we go. Not sure why that lathers up. It's weird. I don't want it to do that. Let's do this red with that ink. There we go. Then, so there we go. Going to need a pretty epic base. I know, well, let me show you. This is the base. This is the base. How big is that? I need to just, I need to spray it. I need to, but he sits on that and that's it. Cause he's, he's for a game that doesn't have, that has very specific terrain. So I won't get much terrain on him. Do I like that color? I'm blending that into that. Love it. Look at that beautiful color. Do some more purple in there. Lots more purple there. Maybe a little bit more blue even. Maybe not. <laughs> that one didn't work out so well, so let's cover that up with gray. That's better. The gray killed some of the blue and made it more purpley. That's, I like a lot better. Thank you, Warmonger. Appreciate that. Okay, I like that color. I like that kind of melding into that. Do a little bit more gray that way too. Needs to dry. Got that purple back in. All right, let it dry. Stop messing with it. Hi, Ty. Look, Ty, I got to show you something. So, yesterday you took a picture of the dragon. And I wanna show you something. You did a filter or something. Maybe it's your monitor, I don't know. But I wanna show you this. It's so funny because you're the reason why I'm painting this dragon. Look at, so when you took the, the screenshot of the dragon, did you, did you do a filter? Because it, it blitzed out the, the contrast. It turned all my blacks into blues. And when I was looking at that, I was like, oh wow, that looks awesome. I want mine to look like that because when I, let me show you, this is how mine actually looked. A lot more um, drab, 
lot more drab. So this whole stream, we've been adding those blues in and look at that. Isn't that cool? That's, your, that's because you, of that filter that you, you used on your phone and it really made a big difference and now this monster is badass. You increase the contrast and that's what he needed. <laughs> he needed the contrast, but it, like I said, it turned all the, the blacks into blues and it saturated everything and it's, it's awesome. Yes. And I want to just point that out to you guys. If you are struggling with like, you feel like you're something about something's missing with your mini. It feels blah. Try doing what Ty did and, and increase the contrast on your photos and see what happens. We're going to get these little, these little bops, whatever these are, these little bumps. I'm going to make it a little bit less bright. I'm going to make it a little bit more gray. I'm going to build those up. Wow, didn't expect the photo to be to influence. It did. It really got me thinking. And I was like, that is what it needs. And then we tried adding the blue and it was like, there he is. He looks awesome. We we're talking about how saturated shadows, your eye loves saturated shadows and how it wants to see them. That was me and Aaron Lovejoy. He's my my current mentor on mentor mentors. I, I like to back my favorite artists, Patreons, and support them. And uh, just like you guys like to support me, I completely believe in, you know, if you, if you like an artist's work, help them out, you know. Show them, the, show them your support. So I back Aaron's Patreon. I also back Bohun and Matt Sexwish. And also, you guys get to benefit from all of my backing that because I come back here and I share what I've learned from them. So that is great. The win win. Looking at the picture taken on the phone, displayed on a phone, recorded on the stream, and finally being watched on the phone. And maybe yeah, it's a little bit uh, a little bit um, goes back to his corner. <laughs> Lemunus, it's a little what is it called? Uh, oh, I don't remember. There's a movie. Inception. It's a little Inception, isn't it? That's funny. Look at that. I love it. I love it. The thing is, is I am the kind of artist I am. I take inspiration all around me and I don't have one single source of inspiration. I don't, you know, I don't just look to myself for inspiration either. Okay, white right here, because that's, that needs to be brighter. There we go. So everybody around me can possibly be a helper in my in my journey as a painter. That's why I love it. All right, I'm going to try something here. Let's do these little striations. See if I can get this to work. That looks kind of cool. That's not bad. I need to tint it with this bone color again. That's better. The white really helped it the most though, didn't it? There we go. There we go. 
Whew, my goodness, I am pooped. I'm gonna use, oh, I don't want it to too much. I'm gonna use a little bit of this over that top of that to help set that in. Much better. There we go, good. Let's do a little bit more of the bumps and things. That it does not want to highlight, why not? There we go. Good, that looks good. I'm gonna do another little dot right there. Crazy, good, happy. Okay, I guess we got all of him painted now, right? For the most part, now we can go under the wings. How much time we've got left? It is 6.22, we got a half hour. Let's look at this again. So we do need more of those. Hold on, let me look at the, bear with me. I'm gonna take a peek at the tattoos. Oh, okay, I need to make another one of these. That just looks terrible to me. Um, yeah, what am I gonna do? Let's just cover it. So sometimes you just have to start over, cover it with the gray, and we'll hope to make a better one later. A little bit of this color over the top. There we go. You can still see a little bit of that tattoo under there. There we go. All right, I feel like that's already a million times better now because that tattoo is bugging me. Okay, he's got a bunch of um, veins on his legs. We're gonna paint those real quick. The horns look great, thank you. I like the horns too. I'm pretty, pretty pleased. We're gonna take this light blue that's right here on my palette. It's kind of a pretty palette, isn't it? Look at this colors. Not bad with the pink being a real kicker color. All right, these are all little bitty veins. I'm trying to use that. There's like a little guide hair on the end of my brush. I'm trying to use that. Okay, turn it slow and I'm gonna go ahead down here. That looks good. Finding some more little dimples and things to highlight. Okay, there's, ooh. That looks good on there.
There is some on this side too. Good. Making sure I don't, oh, he's got some around his eyes. Can't forget those. All right, give me a second. That looks cool. See if he's got some over here too. He does have a few. Over here. Okay, I'm gonna just go with the white a smidge. See what happens when I, whenever there's, maybe just have this be like, almost like a little lightning, wherever the two connect, there can be a little white hotspot. That's something else Aaron Lovejoy was telling me about. That is cool. Love it. Bam. Now we got to go back and get all these little veiny things. <laughs> Aww. Ter Terillion, I don't know why I didn't alert, but Terillion just gifted Ty Love a, a sub. Or no wait, Ty is continuing the sub. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Ty. Well, you really helped make this model so awesome. So you know what, that's awesome. Thank you for continuing. I'm going to tag you when I get this model done and let people know to, to follow you. Handmade hype is quite e busy. <laughs> yes. That's fantastic. All right, let me do some more cool little squiggle veins. This is with the ice blue because we want to only do the white in between. There we go. There's a whole bunch of stuff back here too. I found another vein. I may, I may decide not to do the tattoos because I'm, I'm just not quite working for me. And like we've said before, finished, not perfect is our motto for this piece. But well, I kind of want to do that airbrush version. Okay, let's do white. Hold on, I found something. 
It needs to be darker, lots darker. There we go. Much better. All right, let me check chat. Looks like you guys are chatting. Got Grado. Oh, and I know Darth Molinex. Look at this craziness. Look at this tail. Isn't that amazing? We've been adding blues. We've been adding blues to the shadows, and that's been deepening things. Model Newbie says, well, I swear once I get the money and getting a commission from you. Oh, that'd be great. One blank one so you can see your work up close and try to do one yourself. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's another idea is you could get the Vampire Queen from... Um, from Cottle Reddick and then just do the, uh, the paint along that I've got online. Dang. <laughs> Vondus, Vondus Hammerhand. I want to say Vondus Hammerhand. I want to say it with a German accent. Uh, how are you? If you were saying it Midwest accent, uh, Vondus Hammerhand. <laughs> Oh, this, this is a guy who you don't see often being painted. Well, yeah, especially on stream because he's so big. He's really big. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> paint along. We did a paint along for the Carl Reddick bust. It was um, a while back, and I posted it on my YouTube. So, And we will be doing another one at some point. I have to find the right model, though. I might do one with um, a smaller model and see how that goes. Because the bus is pretty big and intimidating and everything, so. All right, so like I said, I'm going in between wherever there's a, wherever those two like spikes, spokes meet and putting the white for a little, a little hot spot. That looks pretty cool, huh? Do that everywhere where there's like a little fork in the vein. I like that. Gives it an energy, doesn't it? Kind of crazy. I feel like I need a little water with that white because it's kind of thinning out on me a little bit. All right, this one has a whole bunch of crisscrosses. Like that. Ah, oh, love. He's got all this lightning and energy. I feel like there needs to be one more over here. There we go. Kind of bounced it. Oh man, I missed some down on this leg, huh? Oh, there's a whole bunch I missed.
Thought I got those. Good. Okay. Now back with the white with the crisscross. Oh, that makes a difference. Pop, pop, pop. There were some on this side of his tail, too. I forgot these. All right, I think I'm really, really done with his body. Really, really done. Okay, let's look at his wings again. We're almost done with the stream too. Oh my gosh, wait, I am way behind. Hold on, I just wanna do this. He went for a, for a sea base scheme on uh, with the blues. I know it, it definitely looks like kind of a sea. He looks like a, a mutated shark. Absolutely. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. I feel like I need more of that crazy pink in there too. A little bit, a little bit of pink. This is the Vallejo fluorescent. And I actually like it a little better than the scale 75 fluorescent. This is the scale 75 fluorescent. And it's really kind of a heavy body almost. And I'm not so sure I like it. A little streaky. All right. That, that is done. This is not done. This is not done at all. We got to finish all this back here. That part is done. Did you see where I added the blues and the shadows? A lot of sea animals, mainly prehistoric ones, got patterns very similar to those, or at least people thought as such. Yeah, I thought, what if the dragon had kind of the shark pattern, and he had like a meridian line, like sharks do, where he could sense, sense stuff from far away. I thought that would be really awesome. I really love all of that. Nobody else has thought of that yet, <laughs> that I know of. Don't forget the striations on his other claw. Yes. Thank you for that model, newbie. I forgot that. Let's do that with the white. I'm kind of doing a little striations. We're going to go back over it with the ivory. I like how the white is covering it up nice. And then I'm going to go with this little bit of ink. Is it dry yet? Not quite dry. I've got to wait. Let's do this. Hmm. Oops, too much. There we go. That's better. A little too orangey for me. There we go. Yes. That's better. Okay. I like that. Okay, so we're going to attempt to make this over here. Now, the idea was to get this membrane to look like a membrane, and we've got a little bit of some flesh tone color to help us. Um, but before we do that, we got to get our base color. 
Yeah, he does have a person inside. Yes, he does. The veins almost look like lightning. Lightning scars, if you've seen those. I haven't seen those. those. That sounds really cool, though. May I remind you that this is an undead dragon? Oh, is it? The last of its kind. Undead dragon. That is a dead dragon. <laughs> oh, so I guess it's undead. I did not paint it that way. So he's magically animated in, in this scene. So he can look how, and he's magically animated, so he can look however we want. Um, Vandas, do you know the lore behind the Dragon King? I mean, you don't have to tell the spoilers, but you can kind of give us a rough idea. I'm going to mix this gray with this big gray right over here. Mix that together. There we go. That's my midtone. Rinse that out. Here we go. And I'm just going to cover the start. Cover and coat all the little bindly, bindly hand bits. Hmm. He's not unde undead? You mean he's the last of his line? Oh, yeah, that is not the same as undead at all. <laughs> Back in the day when the dragon, the Kingdom Death released that bugger, released that bugger, you kind of heard the story behind the dragon and king on the lore. Okay. I didn't ever hear the lore. I don't, well, I know that there's a whole campaign revolved around it. I know that. Got a little bit of that purple over there to it. Okay, more grays. I'm going to do the dark gray over here. Especially on the sides. I want the, the darkest gray on the sides. All right, and then this is going to be that kind of pinkish color, right, in the middle. See how that's going to have a, a semi-transparent look to it? We can get it more and more pink, and in the, in the highest, the highlights are going to have the most pink. That looks pretty, pretty good blended, wet blended. Can I send you a link so Shoshi can see the lighting, lightning scar? Yes, send it to one of my mods. Who is one of my mods right now? So Lamunus is here. I will attempt. My phone has been glitchy, okay. <laughs> Lamunus, Amberden, they're both my mods. They're the only ones on right now. You can also try to send it to me, and I can try to copy it. There we go. All right. Getting some of this pink back in here. There we go. Oh, I need to get back to the gray on the sides. Near, 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 near. Hmm, okay, more gray, more blue. Wait, hmm, there's the black leather. that We need a little bit of that anyway. There we go. And the petroleum gray. That was our darkest shadow color for our gray. And then we had some, a little bit lighter gray. Was it this one? It's not a gray, this one. Graphite. Oh, there's a nice link. Basically, that you heard of his, wait, the heart of his is a bad thing. He feeds on anguish and nostalgia. 
and lots of pain to those nearby. That's kind of interesting. That makes sense for Kingdom Death. They're kind of emo a little bit. Kind of making this claw a little too blue, so I need to feather it out so that I can get rid of that blue a little bit. There we go. All right, here's a link. Wait, this is the lightning scars. Ooh, ugh, ah, yikes. <laughs> Don't click on that link if uh, you're easily squeamish, okay, guys? Ooh. I have not, I think I've seen that before. I didn't realize the damage it can cause. Holy cow. There's a dragon I'd love to paint. You know what's funny? It better be smaller than this one because I'm not a big fan of giant models. You want one of those scars? Oh my gosh. Okay, Bolos. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to get hit by lightning. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right. We're getting all these. Colors in there. There we go. See what I'm doing? How I'm just I'm just wet blending. I'm coating it, covering it. I'm worrying about everything else after the fact. I'm gonna be wet blending a lot. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna go for the transparent esque bit, and this is where we're gonna. Be buffing in more and more of this peach kind of yeah that that okay I gotta take glasses off I'm gonna switch brushes I'm gonna switch to the smoosh brush this one is a kind of like a makeup brush so you could use a makeup brush if you wanted to and I'm scumbling Scumble means like, it's kind of like scribble, where you just kind of, it's almost like you're buffing eyeshadow on something. Right? I know you guys have so much experience with that. <laughs> and I might mix a little gray in this just to help me blend that. Yeah, that's starting to feel like skin a little bit. And now we got to have this. This is a satin paint and it's got some peach in it. And we're going to hit that because we want that to look like this here. I'm going to wipe most of that off of my brush. See that? See that peach mixes with that gray and it's also satin. So it's going to kind of sit up on top. Ooh, I like that. Kind of extra creepy too, isn't it? See how I'm doing my brush in little circles? Very similar to dry brush. I mean, it's called scumbling. That's an old term. Get a little. There we go. All I, all I did was put some gray back on my brush. A lot different than that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here in a second. We need to get all of this scumble. Get back to this. This is a more desaturated the salmon, so and the reason why I'm putting more it's brighter on the, this side than it is on the other side. And that is because this is, I want this a little bit more shadowed because that's kind of on, the, like I said, on the inside. All right, raise, blend it in. Lots of grays nicely blended into the pink. There we go, see? 
Now it's not quite so crunchy in that line. Ah, Tunnel Vision 42, thank you for the follow. Welcome. How are you and how is your day going? We're painting, we're painting the wing of the Dragon King, which we just finished. Him, we finished the body, not, not the rest. Here's his tail. He looks awesome. Did I just get pink on his tail? Rawr. All right, let me see if I can get that off with this there better. All right, get away, Dragon King. Can't wait for the sandstone to get in. Yep, that's what we're working on right now. Yeah, it was that bad. Painting a relic dragon from Creature Caster. Ooh, that sounds, I've seen those. Those are very cool looking. All right, so there we go with the sandstone and we're gonna use a little bit more of this peachy color here. Okay, now. Okay. Now, that's just kind of the start of things. Let me rinse this brush out. And here, we're at a space where now we can go in and fix up like little areas that have, that need to be fixed like this. I'm using the, the lighter, there we go. That's the, that's the ice blue kind of as a highlight of that knuckle. Okay. That looks good. So we're leaving that as a highlight there and we're gonna go in with the shadows later, but I'm gonna show you a trick. So you can see all the bad blending that I have here, right? Not very good. Well, I'm gonna fix that in a second. In a second. The first thing I'm gonna do is Let's go into the shadows with my gray and tighten up all my shadows. A little bit of this dark purple color. Yes. In the deepest crevices. See how that's working? Water, a little bit of water to feather that out. That's better. Now that's getting more of a volume. That's better. I'm kind of getting in his zone, guys. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to finish some of this so I can show you how I got there. You can kind of see I'm just dragging color into the shadows at this point. Ooh, come on. See, that's kind of what I've done on this side. And then on this side, we're hitting those knuckles with a brighter color, a whiter color, a little bit, let's do a little white, there we go. Pop that out. The recess, pop, recess, pop. All right, now, so this is the spot I'm kind of gonna focus in on now. Is this the part I want to show you and teach you? All right, thanks so much, Luminous. You have a great day, and thanks for hanging out. It is massive, definitely. Let's see. Oh, wow, that dragon is insane. It's so good. Who is painting that? 
gorgeous. Is that I missed who who missed who painted that? So she's gonna get a heart attack. I am. Oh yeah, for that. Yeah, he's not that expensive. Is that the one you're working on, Vandas? Six sixty-five dollars. That's it. Wow, that is reasonable. I think this Dragon King's 150, but that comes with the entire expansion, so I don't know. All right, so now we have to do some Drucci Violet, which I, again, I need to find because it disappears from my desk all the time. Oh, Drucci, why don't you love me? Here we go. I found it. Put some Drucci Violet in there. That's going to be our wash that's going to meld all these brush strokes together and look luscious. Wizard of Boss, thank you for the follow. All right, see how I'm doing this? I need to water that down a lot. And so we're making this is more of a glaze than it will see right now. It's too thick, so I need to make it more of a glaze. See how that's working? It's hiding in the shadows and it is coating all of the color together, kind of making a filter. I can make it a little bit deeper up here. I'm going to spread that around. Notice that I've got quite a bit of water in my pit, in my brush. Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. That's where the dragon comes from. Oh, cool. That's amazing. There we go, a little bit more dark there. Now, I can bring that up over the edge of that. And I do want it um, on everything, because it's, like I said, it's gonna blend all my terrible brush strokes and dry brushing together. Ooh, that's too much. See how that, that's too thick. So pull that off. Don't let a tea stain on you. Push all the wash into the crevices so that the top layer is just tinted. And then the other layers are shadowed. Let's do it on this layer. I'm going to start in the crevice and then bring it up and over the top of it. There we go. Oh, I need a little bit more up here. That's got a darker fold to it. It's trying to feel like a like a bat wing or skin wing now, isn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna turn on my blow dryer so I can go ahead and dry this out. This time, this time I will mute. We lost some music. Hold on a second. Let me do the other other mic. There we go. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, let me flip over here to the overhead. The wings could be very good for swimming. That's true. That's a good idea, huh? 
All right, look at how smooth everything is now. Remember how it all looked very gross and dry brushed? Now it doesn't, and that's because of the wash we put on top of it. Now there are imperfections that I can go ahead and fix. I can see over here we got some pink, too much, probably too much pink over there. Go ahead with some lighter gray instead, especially on these knuckles. And I can take my time here. Give me glasses off. Spread that around there. That's better. Get some shadow on these parts that have the pink. There we go. Okay. Better, better, better. I'm going to focus on these little knuckles here. I want them to look kind of like really thin skin stretched over them. So I'm going to add a little bit of this pink. Again, actually, I'm going to add some of this too. This is that. Ooh. That's better. Might have to do a few, a few layers to get that to look how I want it to. Do this salmon color here. That's better. Oh, I didn't paint this, did I? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Oh, do that with this. Sometimes I can add more gray if it's not up to par. Now we can add the blue on top of the ice blue. Let's do a little bit more slowly building it up. See how that's starting to look deeper now that we've been highlighting up those knuckles. We're going to add some more. Okay, that looks good. There's another knuckle over, other knuckles over here. This one right there. That feels kind of more hand like. Hmm. Okay. Now we did the we did the wash. Now we need to go back and all these little skinned bits, especially with this highlighted orange a little bit. I'm just gonna go in and pick out little pieces. Not too much, but just enough to make it look kind of a little bit transparent. That makes sense. I'm going to add a little that to that gray if we need to. Okay. Every single. Actually, go back to the Moonray flesh because that is a little bit more transparent and it'll glaze a little better. And I can go do the Moonray flesh up all the way. And then we can go to the blue for that kind of highlight that I'm getting, trying to get. There we go. Now, I'm deciding that there's a light, a band of light right around about here. I can go in and sketch that in. See how I do that? And then it then it travels down here. Hope that makes and then there's another one up here as well. Because it kind of zigzags a little bit the way the light is is running down the wing.
And then if we want to just glaze a little bit, I can do it with this kind of satin color better actually probably. Yeah, that looks good. All right, bear with me. I'm going to check chat again. Give me a second. I need to get these. That's starting to look like a like a wing. There's little lines here. Ooh, don't fall in my paint, dragon. Kind of trying to mush these colors together. I'm not super blending. I'm mostly trying to lay down layers. Looks like that blue is wanting to highlight a little bit more than some other colors here. There. Okay, so got that nice highlight right there. All right. And then the moon ray flesh is going to be the final top of the highlight. That makes sense. See how that, that really popped that edge right there? There. Okay, so that's... Pretty dang close, and I do have some blues now. Oh man, that did not work. Take that out. It had some pastel in there that I didn't want. See how that blue kind of riches, enriches that shadow so much. Nice and saturated. All right, let me check chat. I know there's a lot. Just about to ask how to smooth out the knuckles. Yeah, just kind of keep going back over them is what I did. When I'm blending, I don't, I'm not a very good blender. I mean, not that I'm not very good. It's that I don't, I don't spend a lot of time blending. I like it to look painterly. But a lot of people, a lot of people will flat out tell you that's wrong. You know, I'm going to say, I'm going to let you be the judge of that. I... I hate getting into arguments about correct and incorrect on mini painting when it's it's just art. It's your art. You can you can really literally do what you want. And if it's what you want, then it's not wrong. It's what you want, right? There we go. I'm just going back and forth with the purple and the blue, trying to get that deep shadow. Look at that. Look at that next to the look, look at that next to him. He's so cool. I really like that deep blue purple. Art is subjective, not objective. Exactly. A lot of people say a lot of things I do is wrong. Art is art. Exactly. I don't think art can be wrong. He just came in. Strongly agree with the point though. Yeah. It's just frustrating because, and I'll tell you what. I'm going to make this statement. It's going to sound a little inflammatory. But the people who talk about right and wrong the most, you know who they are? Competition painters. Or people who paint for competition. Those are the ones that say stuff's right and wrong. You know why? Because if all of a sudden impressionistic mini painting became the main thing, the status quo, guess what? They wouldn't be at the top of their game anymore. So of course they're going to tell you it's wrong because they want to stay at the top of their game. Although there's a million different types of styles of art out there. Bo Bohun just started doing something he called pixel painting. It's actually just stippling. But it's just a different style. Mmm, this is nice. I like this. Nice, rich, 
blue purple shadows. Look at how that that satin paint kind of went over that and made that look a little skin like, right? Exactly what I wanted it to do. It's got a different it's got a different um like a webby texture to it, right? Now, if I add just a smidge right here, or maybe just a little bit of white, I'm not sure. Something. I want to try to make that look a little see-through. I'm not sure if I can. Well, that's probably as good as see-through it's just going to get without, yeah. Yeah, so basically I'm going to do that on those three, and I'm going to get this as my, oh no! Oh wow, it's kind of cool looking though. So basically, the Druji Violet washed all over his hands. And that is an accident. But how can we make that look on purpose? We could probably easily fix it. Let's see if we can fix it first. We're going to leave a lot of that purple there so that some of it looks like it's on purpose. Like over here, we, we can take that away so that looks like more of a knuckle. Oops, where's that blue? When you make a mistake, this is a trick one of my old art teachers, he said, when you make a mistake, make it look like you did it on purpose, right? I need some pink on this knuckle. We got to do all of that little crazy lightning veins on his hands because I don't think we did that before. Bear with me. I'm going to check chat. I see that it's moving. Hey. <laughs> Orca says, I have a very unique style of painting that uses a combination of extremely fine dry brushing, washes, and stippling, and I've done a lot of skin tones that way, and people flamed you for it. Aw. And then you look at my skin tones class, and we did skin tones the same way. <laughs> oh, you took the skin tone. Well, I don't know what to tell you. That stinks that that happened to you, Orcrest. Just tell him, tell him, show she does it the same way. Shut up. <laughs> it could have been a battle scar, but I kind of wanted, I wanted to look more like uh, his hand, you know. Um, Orcrest, I'm just curious if you used to ever paint canvas painting. Because the way I paint skin tones is real similar to canvas painting. All right, let's get all these cool veins back. He's got a lot in his arms. He's got a lot of veins in his arms. That's awesome. I love that. So Orca, since you did you did skin tones the same way, you must have had a really good time in that skin tones class then. You're like, I got this. I done this. Lots of veins, lots in his arms. That's only one side. 
Now this side. Oh, and he's got this whole, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Got a lot, a lot here. I'm gonna add a little bit of this moon ray because it's just a smidge more yellow and I think it needs needs that. Yeah, that's a little better. A little tiny bit of white too. Yeah, he needs that white. All right, now this is what we did before. We took the white and we kind of anywhere the the little lightning kind of branches off. Give it a little hot spot right in there. In between. Which is a lot of places on his arms. Lots of places here. Woo wee. Ham. Look at this side real quick. We're almost done with this arm. We're well, almost done with part of this arm. All right, that's good enough. Let's see how that looks on his body. More Drucci? <laughs> there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. You must have been taught by Bob Ross, yes. <laughs> hey, Puddlehead, how are you? Yes, ma'am. No, I have very little artistic background, though you've done, although you've done them before. Not like I have any real experience in them. Okay, okay. Do this, put this on. Oh! Oh my God, thank, that, thank God that broke on a seam. Holy shoot. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this in. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna glue it right away. Gosh, I'm glad that didn't break in half. It broke on a seam. I know, scary, scary. Now let me find my glue. Under the piles. Oh, are you kidding me now? It would be the time that I don't find my glue. All right, I'm gonna go and get another glue. I'll be right back. Looks like it was pinned with plastic. I don't, I don't, I don't pin my own stuff. It takes too, too much time. But this, um, we can fix with glue here. Actually, this is plastic glue. Probably what I used. Here, right back. Yeah, there we go. I'm back. Mike's back. Yes, you can hear me now. Sorry, I just put it down. And I forgot. Timber, exactly. <laughs> All 
All right, we're going to glue this on, and then we're going to look for somebody awesome. Okay, here's this is what I like to use is Loctite Super Glue Professional Liquid. It's pretty awesome. We're just going to put this around here. Come here. And I'm, I will probably fill that line, that gap, with Bondic and paint it paint back over it more than likely. All right, so that has to hook to this. So let's do this. Okay. Hmm, maybe I'll have to hold it. Usually, Loctite works pretty dang fast, so what I'll probably do here is get my accelerator. Oh, this way, derp. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't sticking. Let's do it like this. Okay, it's on both sides now. You maybe a maybe I do need to pin it. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Part of it is working. No, I'm a dork. Oh my God. All right, everybody clip this. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm going to end up pinning this. That's what's going to end up happening. You got to go to the grocery store. Thanks so much, model newbie. Okay. All right, I'll pin this off stream. I'll not be very stubborn like I usually am. <laughs> it is, it does, magnets? <laughs> Maybe. I just want it to be able to be one piece. I don't want it to have to magnetize it, actually. Yeah. Man, that's a bummer. Um, try one more time. Now, let's do this. See if I can give this a little there. I think it's going to hold this time. Yep, there we go. Yay! Plastic smear. Yeah, I think that, but it's got quite a bit of paint on it, so I'm thinking. I might not be able to do plastic cement. Anyway, it's fixed now. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the advice, guys. Hey, Rob Jedi, we're just about to leave now. Let's see who is on. Thank you guys so much. Let's see. All right, so we're going to host somebody. I'm hoping Rainer is on. I'm a little bit late, but I wanna, I'd like to see if he's on. Hmm, Rainer, R-E-I. Is Rainer on tonight? Mm. He usually is. It doesn't look like he is. Hold on, let me see who else is on that I want to host. Hmm. I am surprised Rainer's not on. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
hop over to Creature Caster Slow Fuse, who is also an awesome painter. Hopefully this will work. Except Twitch is being weird again. Yeah, Twitch isn't letting me look for people. All right. Try again. I'm going to try to host Creature Caster. Let's see. Exclamation point. There we go. Got his name. Now I'm just going to copy and cut it. That way it'll for sure do it. There we go. All right, enter. Hopefully that worked. I don't know if it worked. Try this. All right, now it's rating. Yay. <laughs> Come back and see me on Monday, guys. I'll be back on from 2.30 to 5.30, and I will see you guys later. Let's go raid slow fuse. Bye.